Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here. Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, welcome back to another video. Hey, not too bad, right? Two videos in three days versus uh, previously it was 12 days without a video. <laughs> Hashtag consistency, right? Hey, if you guys are new here, Liz and I are building our dreams, our businesses, our life, our family. We're building it just like you guys are. So if you guys want to build it together with us, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Super appreciate the love and the support, especially all the comments that you guys have been leaving on the last couple of videos. We super appreciate all the feedback and reading those. Hey, let me uh, show you guys a couple of different things here. My voice is still coming back. Um, had a little bit of a head cold the last four days, so trying to not show it. So that way the video is not uncomfortable to watch, but uh, a lot of progress here on the home. And I want to show you guys what these guys have done just in the last 24 hours. So if you guys can't see, they brought the bulldozer back. They graded out this whole pad, which will give us this nice, beautiful sloping grade to the property. We've got some gravel that they put in here for our septic. If you guys remember on the previous video, this was a giant hole, probably about eight feet deep. And now it's all backfilled with some rock, some aggregate. Not really sure what type of stone this is. My friend Caleb Allman would know, but he's a hardscaper, but I'm not entirely sure. A lot of, uh, a lot of tubing, a lot of piping in here, which is I think the drain field of the septic. So you guys can see all that piping in the ground there, pretty awesome. And then let me show you guys the trenching of it. Uh, one other thing I do wanna show you guys is the plumbing. The plumbers were here doing some of the roughs. Show you guys that here in a minute, but there's the trench line. Looks like that's going to drain down. And then here is our, I think 150 gallon, is that what they called it? Uh, septic tank, not entirely sure what I'm looking at here, but <clears throat> big gray box in the ground. What I do know, and I have seen many times before, is the lids. For everybody who's uh, got a septic tank, if you know, you know. Probably the cleanest those will ever be. Those are your lids. And there you go. So I just got to meet with the CK mechanical team, uh, a couple guys, and uh, so a few minutes late meeting them up, but they wanted to get some uh, ideas for installing uh, the hose bibs on the outside some of the faucet stuff on the inside. Uh, I'll show you guys a quick little run through with that. Phone just does not stop blowing up. All right, <clears throat> so if you guys can see, this is two of the tubs. One's gonna be going for the pole barn. The other is for the upstairs. Uh, I think for the uh, Jack and Jill bath. So you guys can see the tub here. And then this one's gonna go for the pole barn. I'll have a little washout shower in case any of you guys want to work out or they're sweaty, stinky when they get back from working. If they want to uh, clean up from the barn or anybody's here for swimming in the pool, they can just use the shower uh, in the barn or they'll be able to use the bath back here. Take you guys inside really quick to show you the uh, progress. <clears throat> so if you guys can see inside, this is for the wash and dryer hookup. So they did all this plumbing which is pretty cool it's kind of cool seeing how it all comes together here's all their flex pipe all the reds and blues pretty cool here's all their uh, fixtures all their elbows all their parts all their connectors pretty awesome I'll take you guys to the master had to come up with some quick decisions about where to put a couple things so for example they got the drain in and we're going to have a some kind of rain shower thing from the top uh shower head from the side and then a thing that goes up and down that way we got a couple different options the steam generator or whatever it's called i think goes over here and then the uh controller will go here and the steam inlet part will go right here and that'll be the master uh, bath also you can see another vanity over here Here's the plumbing, pretty cool. Now maybe you guys have seen this a hundred times before. I never have, so it's kind of cool just watching where they uh, run all the plumbing. I'm gonna run upstairs really quick and check that out because that'll be fun to see what they did up here. And then outside of that, we'll go down to the basement and maybe they got a little bit more that they ran over there as well. All right, so right as we come on up, you guys can see where the plumbing is right here. So we're gonna go up and around. And then we'll have a vanity here. Uh, not sure what that is, maybe the toilet. And then another drain, so that's pretty cool. 
and then this will be, uh, I think it's just a stand-up uh, shower. And then let's do this. Follow that piping all the way around. More plumbing supplies. Oh, we got another thing going around. Not really sure what that's for. But there you go. Sorry for making you guys all dizzy on the camera. Uh, here's your tub. And I think the tub actually downstairs, we have to get a different one because we need it to drain on this side. And I think it's slated for this side. I guess there's HVAC going in down there or something like that. Look at that, we got a vent of some sort. Oh, and I don't know if you guys saw this. This is new. Uh, it's probably been here the whole time, but I think we're doing a slightly vaulted type ceiling for these bedrooms. So that should go up, which will be pretty cool. Yeah, look at that, it is in this bedroom as well. Ceiling should be raised up a little bit. That's pretty dope. All right, let's go back downstairs. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Uh, if so, <laughs> do a big thumbs up. I really appreciate the love and support. Just trying to document the build with you guys. Uh, I might be swinging back here tomorrow. We'll see if Andy and the team needs me. I think we're supposed to be meeting with the electricians here soon, so that'll be dope. Uh, I'm probably more particular with the electricians than I am with the plumber guys, to be honest with you. You can see some cutouts and some notches where they're gonna be running some stuff. Overall, I don't think there's too much happening down here. Oh, found one. There you go. Oh, you guys can see some uh, gas lines, looks like. Those are poking through. Well, there you go. One thing I do know is that they did add some railings to the staircase, and that is very helpful. Even if they're temporary, makes it uh, that much safer when you're going up. Well, if you guys have any suggestions on plumbing, let me know. Uh, we did already submit our plumbing uh, fixture order, and as many of you guys know, because uh, you've been there as well, we definitely smoked that right out of the budget by double, <laughs> which is not healthy. Um, but the roof did come in, by the way, on budget. Actually, I think it was $300 less than what we were quoted. So that's a win. That's a dub. I'll take that. That copper uh, cupola's got to go. It'll be switched out before you know it with black. Um, so I know, like I just said, that we smoked our plumbing fixture budget, but we wanted the nicer fixtures. So hose bib one, uh, this just cost me a little bit because it's on an exterior wall. It's like I run a separate line and uh, back drain thing that they were saying. But I wanted one on the outside because here's the driveway, right? So I wanted one there. By the way, if anybody knows who picks up all the debris at a construction site, let me know. Is that me? Is that me hiring a 15 year old kid <laughs> for 10 bucks an hour, <laughs> 20 bucks an hour? Let me know because there's a lot of debris, just construction debris in. Yeah, I don't really have time to pick all this up, but I know I have to. All right, number two, hose bib is gonna go right here. Uh, I didn't wanna really put it towards the outside wall here. I figured if, if we ever need to run a hose, like on the uh, patio or something like that for some reason, it'd be nice to have it closer than further. Now, here's what we're thinking too, and don't quote me, but air conditioner probably will have to go over here somewhere. We're kind of running out of room on this wall. Something I didn't think about was the whole house generator and the air conditioner, right? Because we lose this space. We don't want anything really under the master bath. And then we have the egress window. So I think what we're going to do is air conditioner maybe back there and the whole house generator possibly over here. Maybe add some shrubs and some bushes to kind of hide that because that's where our gas meter is going. And also our third hose bib right so if you guys have suggestions over here uh time stamp me on the video hey at nine minutes here's what i would do uh let me know uh because we do not have it all figured out and i just want to make sure everything's kind of fitting aesthetically by the way shout out to hamilton and digger dan he uses a cat d4gxl created all this out looks so much better all cleaned up all smoothed out that's all going to get graded i'm curious what this pile is ever going to be for if that's going to get graded as well but it's all just going to get smoothed out huge pile over there left I'm sure some of that goes back in the septic but they're not going to need all that but hopefully that'll go towards the side of the house and then last but not least 
I did our fourth final hose bib hook out out here because it got to be on an interior wall not an interior wall but uh, a non garage wall would be helpful they said so that's our fourth one and I'm gonna show you a little screenshot if I can I got the ones that like turn in 90 degrees it's like the new style of uh, hose bibs not like the old style of faucet that you got like screw on that takes forever those are becoming pretty popular I also see that they took the dumpster four hundred twelve dollars and fifty six cents is what that cost <laughs> Um, septic, 19,800. Um, what else? What other numbers can I show with you guys really quick? The roof is 20, 23,000, 23,700 or something like that. 24,000. I don't know. There you go. There's some numbers for you guys. <laughs> All right. That's what I got for right now. I'm going to fly back home really quick. Uh, of course I've been out with, uh, the man flu the last four days. <clears throat> I don't know if it's showing up in my voice, but I haven't felt 100%. Unfortunately, Emmy got sick. We thought mom scathed it, but uh, I think mom is out right now too on the way down. <clears throat> I think mom's out on it right now on the way down. Baby crew got a little head cold. He's doing pretty well though, thank God. Hashtag breastfeeding and uh, all is well. But it's been a busy, busy couple of days as we get back into the mix. So, all right, that's what I got for you guys today. Have a beautiful one. Big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. We'll catch up with you guys on the next one.